You pump gas, you fly on planes, and you heat your home. Where does all that fuel actually come from? Well, it starts here. Crude oil. Raw petroleum pulled from deep underground, a substance that by itself is practically useless. Just a messy soup of hydrocarbons. To turn it into something we can actually use, crude has to go through one of the most complex industrial systems humans have ever built. The oil refinery. While the exact science behind it all can be pretty complex, you can break down what's happening in a refinery into a few simple steps, starting with distillation, or sorting the soup. Just like water boils at a different temperature than alcohol, the components in crude boil at different points too. By heating the crude at high temperatures in a large fractionation column, we can have lighter stuff like propane and gasoline rise to the top, while the heavy leftovers like asphalt sink to the bottom. But here's the thing, there is way too much heavy stuff. Through a process called cracking, refineries literally break apart those heavy molecules with heat, pressure, and catalysts into lighter ones. Another option for conversion is reforming, rearranging lighter cuts like naphtha at a molecular level to create high-octane gasoline. The result of all these processes is a wide range of fuel and products we use in our everyday life. So next time you fill up your tank or hop on a plane, remember this whole alchemy of heat, pressure, and chemistry is what made that possible.